make it make sense to me right how can you be a believer have the holy spirit inside of you or whole holy spirit inside of you and you are in love with someone else's husband there's some okay i don't want to judge but i can't i can't help but judge see there's some questions or there's some topics that i feel like we should not be having but well we have to have them because some people are ignorant right you're in love with someone else's husband as a child of god you are dating someone else's husband as a child of god mfm weekend deliverance is very available yeah because uh, 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 that's a demon right there that's a demon operating you have given space for demon to enter you because as as how i'll be right back Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Salvation Therapy. My name is Anwar Zassi. This is the home of sweet storytelling, healing, true thoughts, everything great, sweet. According, in line with the word of God, according to the will of God, to the glory of God, that's what you know we do here. And yes, today you saw the topic. How a believer is loving someone else's husband is what I don't know. How you call yourself a born again Christian and you are in love with someone else's husband. It's what I don't know. Like to the extent that you've taken it a pinch higher by dating the husband. Okoloko, Rufe, and you say you're a Christian. You say you're a child of God. I don't get it. I don't get it. This is lost. It's not love. Love. God is love. We cannot take God out of love. So genuine love is in Christ, is in God. And God's love is not hurting. It's not betrayal. Because that's the man betraying his wife with you. Cheating on his wife with you. That's betrayal. God's love is pure. That kind of love is not pure. So you cannot say you are a Christian, a child of God, tongue speaking, Holy Ghost inside of you. And you are fully king with someone else's husband. Co possible possible like it's not possible that you call yourself a child of god and you you are Abba. no your salvation experience has to be checked yeah it has to be checked it has to it has to be reworked now people can fall into sin or you must not stay there so let's say this was a mistake now it's time for you to um retrace your step and not claim that you are in love with him that's infatuation that has lost. It is not love. You cannot be in love with someone else's property. He has a property. He has been taken out of the market. You have to wait for God to give you your own. And most times when people, especially ladies, say they are dating married men, it's because of material things. They, they feel that they spend more on them. They can give them what they need. They can give them what they want. That's why I see some of these ladies tend to marry someone else's or tend to dating someone else's husband ladies if you are that person you need to stop because this is someone else's person but let's even say that the man does not have sense you should have sense to know that what he's doing is wrong right you should have sense to know that what he's doing is wrong so what are the odds get yourself a business get yourself a job do not rely on somebody to take you out of poverty. Get yourself a business. Get yourself a job. Get yourself something doing. And take your eyes off someone else's thing. Okay? So, you don't know the backstory. You don't even know if it is the woman that has been the backbone of the person's success. And, you know, the, all, all the things that the person has acquired so far. You don't know if it's some... And that's, the, that's, the, that's, my, that's always my point. Like, you see a finished product, you see a finished process, and you want to latch on it. Let the table turn. Let's switch this table. If you were the person whose husband is being latched on like that, you know, it's always sweet when you are not at the receiving end. You know, it's always very sweet. So imagine it was you that, you know, it was you as the wife. Imagine it was you as the wife. 
what would you do see let's be gracious don't let desperation for material things get a grip on you that you start doing things that do not glorify god seeking excuse you know that it is love seeking excuse that well maybe he made the wrong decision in marriage it does not it is not your business whether he married the wrong woman it's none of your business let he and the woman finish their business by themselves let them sort themselves out get yourself out of the triangle get yourself out of their home okay because you would you would really be the side chick okay you would always be the side chick so and side chick is not why jesus died for you no jesus did not die for you to become the side chick jesus wants you to be the only chick the main chick and jesus did not die for you to go and be sleeping with other people's husbands and dear men okay because i don't want to make this one-sided if you're not ready to get married don't get married and if there is something that your wife is doing that you don't like, get a counselor, talk to her first, and watch your terms of communication. Because sometimes people say, I, I you don't know my wife. I talk to her. She will never listen. How are you faced? How are you communicating? You can be communicating wrongly. You could be using harsh words. People want to be treated nicely and respected, even from the way you talk to them. So if there's something your wife is not doing, you could talk to her. You both of you could sort it out. It's not you looking for succor in the hands of another woman, thereby cheating, thereby breaking your marital vow. And that's one thing that I want us to you know, reiterate and you know really put into the fore right here is that people don't take their marital vow seriously anymore like it's not about you just writing the vow so that people will do oh, oh. it's a commitment it's a covenant between you your wife and god if you break evil breaks the edge the serpent shall bite so you are actually breaking the edge you are breaking your covenant of marriage and you know the problem when you start receiving the reward of breaking that covenant now that same woman where you they cheat upon go call the wrong from pillar to post they pray they follow you do all the it's it's crazy if you don't want to get married if you're not going to be committed forget it don't marry if you have not trained yourself on discipline and self-control look these things don't fall on people people learn it people people decide in fact it's part of the fruit of the spirit self-control you must have control over yourself and if you see that there is a particular girl that is doing some howl around you report to your wife immediately before it becomes another story let your wife know that look there's this girl i don't understand what she's looking for that way you're not going to fall into sin you're not going to fall into a trap and dear sister dear sister dear sister carry your eye come on person husband carry your eye come on god will give you your own man god will give you your own person but take it away and one thing that I, I i also want to put out there is that you see a lot of christians christian ladies having role models that are not christians and they see their role models doing this with other people's husbands and they think it is good so because i don't understand when your role model does not depict the kingdom and you, you before you know you start exhibiting these things and you start wondering where they're from they're not alien to you they're things that you've seen the things that you've heard people say are your things you've seen people do sanctify your heart filter your heart filter your content it is not a cool thing to be sleeping with a married person it's not cool get yourself a job get yourself a business you can do things there's so many things that you can learn online that you don't even have to pay for but sleeping with other people because you feel that it can supply your needs and live within your means yes live within your means if you've not gotten to a particular stage can you enjoy your particular stage you want to start you know traveling here and there buying things here and there is, is the good life not okay of course the good life is okay the good life is beautiful when it's time for you to enjoy it without stress without desperation i want to tell you this if you find yourself doing this confess your sins to god to people that you know can hold you accountable and create boundaries and that's why you have to report to people that can that can hold you accountable so that if the man is coming again disturbing you you can easily report to those people and they can do the needful 
Do you understand? So you also need to have people that are like-minded around you. So if you have friends that that's what they do on a study, it's going to be hard. So get your like mind. Get your like-minded folks. Relationships are very important. So if you have friends with people that don't even know God, don't even have standards, don't even have the self-respect, it's going to be hard. So I pray for you that the Lord will help you to, to take the step, to do the right thing, to focus on Him in the name of Jesus. And every form of sexual immorality is off you in the name of Jesus. Because, look, it's not even good. It's not it. It's not it. And dear man, just in case you are doing this, repent. Confess your sin so that you don't go back to your sin. Confess it. Don't let your wife catch you before you confess. Confess your sin and do not go back to your vomit. Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Have you ever faced something like this? Were you doing things like this? How did you get, you know, to turn a new leaf and all of that? Please let me know in the comment section. Um, if you really enjoyed this video, put a very big thumbs up to it. Like it, like it, like it, like it. Please share this content with your friends. Share this content with your family members. Now, before we go, it's time for our affirmation. Say after me. Lord Jesus, I choose to live for you. I choose to follow your leading. I come against every form of sexual immorality desperation for wealth desperation for money i live according to your will because i know that you are going to supply all my needs according to your riches in glory yeah so that's the end of the video please do not forget to share your thoughts with me in the comment section i'll see you guys again